Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chimmy. I make videos every week. Now, my videos every week are usually very different. They're not the same at all. However, the ultimate goal is to add value to you. Today, I wanted to talk about YouTube 101. If you've ever been interested in starting a YouTube channel but you didn't really know where to start, this is your best place. There are quite a lot that I want to talk about, so I've divided it into four different categories. These are the absolute basics that you must know if you want to start a YouTube channel. I've divided into four different parts because there's too much to cover and I won't be able to do it in one video without you getting bored. The first part will be about email ID. The second one will be about equipment that you need. The third one will be editing. I use Final Cut Pro, so this is going to be about Final Cut Pro. And the fourth one will be your YouTube content, calendar planning. I've split it into four parts so it's easier for you to follow and cope up and this is all I'm going to talk about in each week. So if you miss one part, you can go back or you can go forward and look at the other one. These are not full-blown teaching at all. It's not A to Z on how to edit or A to Z on equipment and how to use each and every one of those equipments or how to use an app entirely for YouTube content planning. It's just my experience. It's things that I have learned the hard way. I find that there are a lot of guide for you on YouTube itself and on Google on how to start a YouTube channel but sometimes people don't really talk about these basics so I've learned it the hard way and I want to make it easy for you so I'm sharing it with you now these are tips and tricks that you won't find anywhere else at all so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out every other week or every other part that I upload even when I make recommendations for something I will leave the link to everything on the description box below so it's easy for you to find it Part 1 of YouTube 101 is creating an email ID. To start a YouTube channel, you need a Gmail email ID. I'll share my screen and show you how to create a new email ID. It's really, really easy to do that. Go to google.co.uk and in the search bar here, just search for create a new Gmail account. Just click on the first tab that comes up and then create an account. There you go. You just need to fill in your details here. All they ask you is for your first name, your last name, what is the email ID that you want to use for your Gmail account, confirm that. Once you fill in all of those details here, you just need to click on next and then it will ask you for your age, your date of birth. Even if you've already got a Gmail account, I would highly, highly recommend that you create a new account just for YouTube. Now, this is a major mistake that I made. When I first started, I already had a Gmail account. So I just used that account and created a new YouTube channel. I've had this Gmail account for God knows how many years now. That's my personal Gmail account that I use for everything. And I used it for YouTube also. So all of the notifications that I got from YouTube came into this page. I was a little bit reluctant after several weeks because I suddenly saw someone's video on how their account was hacked and they lost everything in there. I mean, I have seen other people talk about creating Gmail accounts and everything and I thought, I've already got one, I might as well just use this. But it wasn't the same at all. I'm telling you, it's not the same. I then decided that I was going to create a new Gmail account just for my YouTube channel and I couldn't transfer the channel from one account to another. So I had to create a brand new account on a brand new YouTube channel and I deleted everything that I had on my original YouTube channel. I had it for about two months, I think, and I uploaded so many videos in those weeks. I already had quite a lot of subscribers on that channel, but I lost all of them because I created a new account. And I couldn't help it though. It was better to do it sooner rather than later, so I went on ahead and deleted the old channel, transferred everything onto my new channel, and then I started uploading videos on the new one. It was a painful process, deleting the old channel, downloading everything, uploading it onto the new channel again and doing all of my descriptions and everything. The biggest difficulty I had was to reach out to the people to subscribe to my channel again. It's not difficult at all to have another separate channel for YouTube. In fact, it makes things easier for you. So you can segregate everything. You can segregate your personal stuff and you can segregate your YouTube stuff. All of your notification, your emails, your comments and everything that comes under your YouTube channel will be in one page. So it's easier for you to find anything if you wanted to go back to it. It's completely natural once you upload a YouTube channel, you go back and search for it yourself. You want to see how it looks like, you want to see whether it's coming up in the search or not, which page or which number it's coming up in the search and everything. That's exactly what I did once I changed my channel. Once I moved it onto another email address and another YouTube channel itself, I went searching for it. 
I typed for my name, I typed for the names of the videos, the exact same thing, I copied it, yet it still didn't come up at all. For the first four days, I think five days, it didn't come up. I was searching and I got really, really upset about it. And I got very disappointed. I kind of regretted moving everything. And then I noticed from the sixth day onwards, it came up in the search. My entire channel came up and I searched for my name and I searched for my videos, even when I used half the words and everything, it still came up. And then I figured out, once you transfer everything, when you start your own YouTube channel, it's not gonna come up in the search in the first five to six days. It'll only come up after the six day onwards. This is because the YouTube account takes some time for verifications, for background checks and everything and then it will be in the mix. When you're starting a YouTube channel, the name that you use for your channel is rather important. Most people normally use their own name. Some people use like a nickname, some people use a combination of a few different things. But think of it this way, if you have an extremely complicated name, like something that you would use for your password, then people are not gonna be able to find it easily. Even if they recall you, they recall your thumbnail, they want to look at some of your videos or they want to find your stuff, it's not gonna be easy for them to remember the spelling and everything and search for it. So try and use something practical, something searchable, something simple. And here's another tip about your username itself. One word search works far better than two or three separate words in YouTube search. Now my name is Chimmy Lakshmi. If you search for that as one word, there are higher chances of it bringing up my videos as opposed to two separate words. Maybe if you've had it for a very long time and you've got a lot more videos, a lot more followers and subscribers in your YouTube channel, it'll be easy. It will come up with whatever you type on there. But if you're starting off, you are trying to connect with people, you're trying to get more views and more subscribers, then it's best to go off with something easier and maybe even one word, if you can. Your YouTube channel is out in the public. Everyone can see it, everyone can access it, and it's extremely easy for hackers to hack your YouTube channel. If your YouTube account is hacked, it means your email address is hacked also. If you've got your YouTube account linked up with your personal email address, it means that you've lost everything at one go. If you have extremely important information, your personal bank details, your bank emails, your own bills or, you know, sensitive information that comes into your own email address, you've got everything mixed up together and the risk is far, far higher. So it's just best to separate everything and keep it as it is. In part two, I'll talk about the equipment that you need to record your videos and upload videos onto YouTube. I hope you found this information useful. I just want to tell you one piece of advice though before I finish. Don't be too hard on yourself. If your first video is so good that you have nothing else to improve, you've waited far too long. Just give it a go, try something, take a first step, try it and then you can improve yourself. All the very best to you and I'll see you again soon. Bye!